Phil, I told you for the last time, it's winter. But you said it was summer. Look, it's summer. So it's like Merca, you gotta wear the hat. Merca, no. Pro shops. no, no, Merca, Merca, no Merca, no Merca, no fishing. Oh God, oh we're up. And hello and welcome to the Four Seasons Herbal Remedy Show. With me, Phil. And me, Fred. Today we're going to be talking about the new fighter for cancer and fat burning. Is that right? Stimulant. Stimulant? Oh, let's talk about that. Um, green tea. Green tea. Do you ever think about that? Green tea. Lipton green tea? That work? Any tea, mm -hmm. really. I don't really like Any green tea. tea. Do you like green tea? I don't like tea. I don't, I don't like tea. tea. I don't like tea. I heard that the scientific name for green tea is Camellia sinensis. What kind of name is that? I don't know. It's not a name I want. I don't know your name either. The active ingredient in this drink, which helps you burn fat and fight cancer, is actually flavanol. That's in many drinks. Wow, I... That's going to do a surprise to me. The bioactive substances are actually, in fact, which helps you burn the fat, which then makes it a drink as well. Well, Sam, do you want to tell us some benefits? Well, yeah, green tea is loaded with antioxidants and nutrients that have powerful effects on the body. It is also includes function, uh, brain better brain function, function fat loss, a lower risk of cancer, and many other advantages, such as green tea protects you in old age. It can make you live longer. It also helps you lower your risk for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. It also lowers your risk of diabetes, type 2. Like, wow. I, know if, a lot of I wish I liked these. Yeah, me too. Mr. Green has some fruit roll ups for people with diabetes and squat. Oh, that, that's terrible. I mean, at least you get a fruit roll up, right? All right, let us, um, let's go talk about some, some of the uses. These, the uses for green tea and ex, an extract of green tea can be used as medicine, as well as it can help mental alertness and thinking. So, for if you want to do good on a test, you can drink some green tea, even though it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I could or not. I mean, it's pretty bad. Drinking too much green tea, like five cups a day, is unsafe for the body, though. Really? So you can't have too much of this stuff. What, what would happen if that? Well, the caffeine it holds can cause some side effects, obviously. I think this goes along for a lot of other drinks, especially energy drinks like Monster. And um, Diet Coke. No, 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 don't even go there. These side effects can range from mild to serious, including headaches, nervousness, sleep screen. problems, vomiting, or diarrhea. It's, I'm pretty sure none of you. And, um, but this has had a pretty significant impact on green, on the society. So would you like to tell them about that, Evan? Um, well... It, this unique beverage alters the pathways underlining pathological processes like cancer. And Sam, are there other ways that it can alter pathological pro processes? In fact, there are, and there are a couple. It can help with cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and um, as I said before, um, type 2 diabetes, which... Has a pretty big impact. I think you people need to start drinking more green tea. I mean, it, I've heard that it does promote longer lives. And, yeah, I mean, that's all I have to say about that. Me too. Well, well good evening to you all. For And thank you for watching the Four, e, Four Seasons Herbal Evening Show. Hope you um, liked it. If you uh, like did like it, tell us. And um, maybe we'll do this more often. I don't know. Peace.